Welcome to the City of Port Huron Water Filtration Plant. My name is Norm Hearn, I'm the Water Plant Superintendent. The City of Port Huron has been pumping water from this site since 1872. The building behind us is still part of that old plant, and we still use it for storing equipment. The present plant started construction in 1963 and was finished in 1966. Uh, this is a 30 million gallon per day plant. It consists of chlorination, coagulation and flocculation, sedimentation, and filtration. Where does our water come from? The city of Port Huron's water filtration plant draws its water from 150 feet out in the St. Clair River. At this point, there are two 36-inch plant intakes that extend 150 feet into the St. Clair River and feed the low-lift pumps that pump water up to the main plant building. Laura feed is the basin where the river water comes into this building, and then after that it goes through the rotating screens here, which keep any kind of large objects, ice, or fish from getting into the pumps and the pumping basin. The average flow rate of the river at this location is 1.35 million gallons per second. In the summer months, we feed liquid sodium hypochlorite at the intake openings for zebra mussel control. We have three low lift pumps, one constant speed and two variable speed. The constant speed pump is capable of pumping 12 million gallons per day, and each variable speed pump is capable of pumping 18 million gallons per day. How does water get to my home? The water gets to your house through a series of pipes that are big and small. They run underground where you can't see them. They run to your house and run inside to your interior plumbing to the tap so that when you open the tap, you have water that started here at the water plant. This is where the raw water enters the main building, pumped up from the low lift building, which of course is pumped up from the river, and it enters the rapid mix chamber where we do chemical addition. These are the storage tanks, each holding 5,800 gallons of sodium hypochlorite, along with the day tank that weighs each day's usage. This is an online chlorine residual monitor, and we constantly uh, measure the chlorine residual um, because what the chlorine is used for is uh, disinfection, and what the disinfection does is it kills pathogens, or in other words, the disease-causing organisms. So we constantly monitor that, and that's one of the most important processes in the plant. These are the actual precision metering pumps that provide the chlorine to the plant process. How long does it take for a drop of water to be cleaned? On the average, it takes eight hours for a single drop of water to make its way through the treatment process. Below our feet are the rapid mix chambers where the raw water comes into the main building, creating a hydraulic action to mix the chemicals that are added at this point. These are the aluminum sulfate rotomix machines that add a measured amount of alum to the incoming water in the rapid mix basin. Aluminum sulfate is a flocculating agent that neutralizes the opposing electrical charge on particles in the water and allows them to clump together in the clarifiers to settle out and be removed. Fluoride is also added at this point as a dental aid. Why do you like your job? It is very rewarding to know when the public is using the water that is clean and safe. The water then comes out of the rapid mix area, comes out of the main building, down this flume, which actually has about three feet of water in it, and then to the flocculation building here. We have a north and south sedimentation basin, each holding two million gallons. Only a small portion of the basin is visible. In between the basins is a dry well holding the mechanical drives that turn the slow mix paddles. The incoming water to the basins is slowly mixed, allowing small particles in the water to flocculate or clump together as a larger particle and settle out in the basin as the water boosts through at about 1.2 feet per minute. How many people do you provide water for? Over 50,000 people receive their drinking water from the City of Port Huron's water filtration plant. Those people live within the City of Port Huron, Fort Gratiot Township, Port Huron Township, Kimball Township, and Clyde Township. We are back inside the main building and this piping is the effluent end of the sedimentation basins and it feeds the flume that runs down the length of the building here and turns to the right to feed the plant filters. These are the turbidity meters, they're mounted on each filter. What they do is they monitor the cleanliness of the water coming out of the filter um, and we monitor that on all the filters, each one has one, they're required by the DEQ and that's to make sure that the performance of the filter is keeping up to uh, standards. 
On either side of the flume, the water is fed to the top of each filter. There are five filters on each side, and the plant has a total of 10 filters, each capable of producing 3 million gallons a day, giving the plant a rated capacity of 30 million gallons a day. The water flows into the top of each filter and flows by gravity through the filter media. The media consists of 6 inches of anthracite on the top, 28 inches of sand, and then 18 inches of gravel over the underdrain. Basically, these filters mimic what happens naturally in nature. We measure the loss of head on each, and when it reaches a given point, we backwash the filter to clean it. This means we reverse the flow of water through it, and the dirty water goes into a retention basin where the water is retained and the sediment is allowed to settle out, and then the backwash water is returned to the river. Who do you work for? Actually, we work for all of our customers that we supply water to, but we are employed by the city of Port Huron. This is the intermediate pump room where the filtered water flows into a basin below our feet and then is pumped to the finished water reservoir. The filter wash pump is also housed in this room. After the water exits the intermediate well, it comes down this pipe and down the far end, it goes into our clear well. There are baffles in that clear well, which actually keeps the, the water actually flows one way and then the other through those baffles and gives it uh, contact time so that the chlorine has uh, a chance to kill any of the pathogens and then exits out this wall here. When it exits the clear well, it goes all the way down this gallery and goes all the way to the other end of the plant where the high lift pumps are located. These are the pumps that deliver the water to the distribution system. We have one constant speed pump of 250 horsepower capable of 8.5 million gallons per day. Two variable speed pumps of 400 horsepower capable of 12 million gallons per day and one constant speed 400 horsepower capable of 12 million gallons per day. They pump into the plant effluent header and the water exits the plant on the north or southeast side. Do you use this water to put out fires? We use the water that the water filtration plant pumps out. We have over 1,600 fire hydrants throughout the city of Port Huron and our fire trucks connect to these hydrants. These are the high lift pump motors and the associated electrical switch gear for their operation. Again, one 250 horsepower and three 400 horsepower motors. This is the laboratory and plant operator station. Here the plant is manned by an operator 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays. All operators must be certified by the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality and that includes rigorous study and testing for certification. The DEQ also oversees the plant operations to ensure that all safe drinking water standards are met. The operator oversees all aspects of the plant operation, which also includes monitoring our north and south elevated tanks and distribution system, the Port Huron Township elevated tank, Kimball Township tank, and the Fort Gratiot elevated tank. This is our one and a half million gallon ground storage tank at the North Service Center. We put this in service during the summer months to give us additional storage capacity because of the additional usage. How do you know our water is safe to drink? We know our water is safe to drink because we have a full-time laboratory and we are manned 24 hours a day and our operators are constantly testing the water to make sure that it is safe to drink. The filtration plant laboratory analyzes for chlorine, fluoride, alkalinity, hardness, pH, turbidity, and chlorides. Bacteriological tests are also done on distribution and in-plant sample points. Scott is collecting all the materials needed to go out into the distribution system to collect water samples that will be brought back to the lab and will be tested both chemically and bacteriologically to make sure that our water system is safe. The City of Port Huron provides the highest quality water to its customers. The latest water quality report is available on the City's website. And remember that modern water treatment is one of the greatest health advances of the 20th century. And thank you for visiting the City of Port Huron Water Filtration Plant.